All right, fam. So we are back at again with another crazy video and this is coming from my boy jesse lee peterson now before we get to the video hit that like button subscribe to no post notifications without further ado let's get it let's go are you a christian i'm not a christian i'm an israelite you're what an israelite what's that you had an israelite on your show you had a captain tazariak on your show oh yeah remember him yeah you like that? I like that. I Are you am like that. you that kind of an Israelite thing? You can say that, yes. Are you? Yes. You agree with him? Yes. And why did you, were you a Christian before you became an Israelite? Yes, I was raised a Christian. I grew up in a Baptist church. Really? Right. So you're known as a black Israelite? I'm known as an Israelite. See, the term black Israelite is oppressive because we don't oppressive? call. Oppressive? Yeah, it's unfair. <laughs> we don't call Jewish people white Jewish people. Why not? You do that? Uh huh. I never. I, never I, heard of I didn't know the difference for a while because they look like white people to me. That we always say white Jewish people. We not. We always say Jewish people. I never hear people saying white Jewish. Oh, people. I see. Yeah. And so to call you black Israelite is oppressive. Yeah, it's unfair. Just call me an Israelite. Oh. Yeah. And why did you switch from Christianity to Israelite? Because I studied and I found out the truth. And what was that truth? That Jesus is a Jew. You agree? Jesus is a Jew. Jesus, yeah, because he's still... Well, he was while he was here. He's dead? No, he's not dead. Where is he? He's in us. So, is, present tense. Right. So, he is a Jew. Right. You, could you agree? That Jesus is a Jew? Yeah. Yes. Right. So, I found out the truth. Well, the real Jesus is not a Jew. He's a spirit. But he came on earth as a Jew. He was born through a Jewish woman. A Jew, but the real, uh, no, Jew, not the real a Jewish Jesus woman. is a... Is she a, was a Jew, not Jewish. The suffix ish, Whatever. the suffix ish <laughs> means somewhat like pertaining to, which is why we don't use it. Oh, oh man. So like, so let me say, so yes, Jesus is a, was a Jew. Right. So I studied what made him a Jew. He was from the tribe of Judah. So the Bible focuses on lineage. It doesn't focus really on a religion. It's lineage based. And so, um, so, so that's why you switch from Christianity to is. To, to, to uh, what are you, Israelite? Israelite, yes. <laughs> and I just so happened because to be... Because Jesus was a Jew? Right. I just so happened to be from the tribe of Judah. I just so happened to be a Jew. You can be an Israelite and you could be from the tribe of Manasseh, Ishakar, Gab, Nad. You could be from another one of the 12 tribes. I just so happened to be from the tribe of Judah. And what good is it doing you to be an Israelite that it didn't do for you as a Christian? Right. So a lot of Christians, they think that Jesus is white and they hang that white Jesus up in their church. And it doesn't serve you to it doesn't help you to serve a Jesus or a God that doesn't look like you. That's not to your benefit. That's to your detriment. It's, My belief now is that Jesus and God, they look like me and the people of the Bible look like me. But what good is it doing you? What what good is it doing you to be a is a uh, a Israelite. Israelite, <laughs> as opposed to a Christian. When I was a Christian, I lived a life that was off because a lot of Christian churches, the pastors, they preach that, uh, you know, no matter what you do, God will forgive you. You can be gay. You can be straight. You can get high. You can eat pork. You can do all of these different things. As an Israelite, I understand that that's not true. We and you can't don't do any of those things? I don't. You don't do it. And do you love the Jews? I love the Jews. Yes, you love I white am a Jews. Jew. What the, do you mean by the, that? The real Jews over in Israel. The real Jews? Yeah, do you love the them? The black Jews in Israel? No. The, the real Jews are black. Well, there are some black Jews in Israel, but not your kind of black. They're like from, they're like the real Jews. I'm a real Jew. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> but do you love the, the, the white looking Jews? The white look, do I love all of them? Yes. I don't know all of them. Do you love them? I don't, I don't know all of them. What do you mean? Do you love them? Like, for example, I, I love the ones I know. Do you love the, the white Jews? We'll call them white, just to distinguish between the black, Israelite, and that. I don't do know Do you them. love the white Jews? The ones I know I love. But the ones you don't know you don't love? Yeah, because I don't know them. That's like at me asking you, do you love Joe Biden? Yes. You love Joe Biden? I do. Do you love Adolf Hitler? Yes. 
You love Adolf Hitler? 100%. Really? Yeah. Do you love white people? Um, yes. You do love white people. Right. Do My you, martial arts instructor is white. But My travel you, agent is do white. Do you know all white people? No, that's why I'm specifying right now. And so why do you <laughs> love all white people, but you don't know them? I don't love all white people. But I asked you if you love white people, you said yes. Yeah, because the, pe- the white people I'm naming, I love. But you don't love all white people? No, absolutely not. Really? And does your God love all white people and all Jews? God doesn't love all, all white people. Your, your Israelite God doesn't love all white people? No, he doesn't love all of everyone, no. And why not? If you read the Bible in Romans, it says that uh, he hated Esau, so he didn't love everyone. And why doesn't he love all? Because the Bible wasn't made for all. Oh. He has a special people. Did he send his son to save all or just some? To save some. But not all? No. Nah. So all of Israel, not so all of So the everyone. Bible was lying when he said that he, Christ came for everyone that would accept him? No, the Bible could never lie. Who is, but, who's but, the audience you have to look at? But that's what the Bible said. He, came, he sent his, his, he sent his the, son for all who will accept him. The, all of Israel. All people. All of Israel. That's what it means to you? No, that's what it means. The audience is Israel. Amazing. What is it like to be a, an Israelite mm-hmm. and not love all people? What's that like? It's amazing because it's objective. I don't think... It's healthy to love all people. I don't love child molesters. I don't love rapists. You know, I don't love people who destroy my community. I don't, it's not healthy to love all people. You don't love the blacks that destroy the black community? No, absolutely not. So you don't love all blacks either? No. Really? If you're... You kind of pick and choose who you love? Right, as you should. Amazing. No one should love the child molester. You love your barber? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Yes. You do? Yes. And what's a fallen state? A fallen state as you would define it or what, do I, what I think you mean by fallen state? What do you state? think a fallen state is? fallen state, I think, is like falling further away from uh, Christ, um, not living to his teachings, eating all the pork, getting high, you don't eat getting pork? drunk. No, I do not eat pork. Not even with uh, uh, egg and... And I, bacon bites. I don't, I don't eat pork. Man, you're missing it. So you no. eat pork. You eat pork. Right? You eat. You, you eat got pork. some bacon with The you? Bible says to not eat pork. The Levitical law says you shouldn't eat pork. Amazing. Pork. I don't pay so you're breaking that law. the laws. I break that one every See, day. See, you're a Christian. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Amazing. I don't break those laws. But you're not breaking the law by not loving all. That's we don't have to love all. You're not breaking the law by not loving all. There's no law that says we should love all. No, Matthew, you're not breaking the law by no, not loving all. I'm not breaking no law by not loving all. Amazing. Um, that's amazing. Ecclesiastes 3 and 8 says that there's a time for everything. It says that there's a time for love and a time for hate. Do you have hatred on your heart? Yes. The Bible says, surely oppression make a wise man mad. So being oppressed angers me. So you have hatred in your heart? For some things and people, yes. You do have hatred in I your do, heart. I do. And do you have love in your heart? Yes. So you have both. Right. Uh, There's a time you, for each. You like serve the Bible two says. gods. No, I serve one. You, if you have both, if you have hatred and love, how can you only serve one? Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus three and eight says, "There's a time for love and a time for hate." Amazing, bro. <laughs> okay. Um. First off, I want to first off I want to say this. I'm not so hipped on the Hebrew Israelites. I'm not so hipped on them. Uh but one thing I know is that I believe that a lot of Hebrew Israelites follow the Old Testament a lot. Okay? And th- that's not to say that the Old Testament still does not exist. Like yes, we should follow the Bible, you know what I'm saying? But this is the thing. First off, it's a lot of things that he said that that was off that was false okay it was off and it was false simple as that a lot of the a lot of things he said one of them is that jesus only died for certain people as i look at my bible i don't know what bible he reads but as i look at my bible mark chapter 16 verse 15 and oh and this is in red by the way if, if you guys don't read the bible whatever's in red means that this is what jesus specifically said okay so 
And then he told them, go into go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. These miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons in my name and they will speak in new languages. They will be able to handle snakes with safety. And if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. They will be able to place their hands on the sick and they will be healed. Okay, I read all that. The bottom part didn't have nothing to do with what I said, but the beginning part, go and preach the gospel to everyone. This is not just for the Israelites. Okay, why would Jesus tell his disciples to go preach the good news? The good news is the good news of Jesus Christ, the things that he has done, him dying on the cross for our sins. That is the good news. You know what I'm saying? Him being that living sacrifice to take us to take uh to pay for all our sins, to pay for the wages of all our sin. That is the good news. So why would Jesus tell his disciples to go out and preach the good news to everyone if it was only meant for the Israelites, if it was only meant for the Jews? That doesn't make logical sense. Okay, you say that God is God is uh God doesn't love everyone. But the Bible tells us that the first commandment above all, let me uh go to it right here. Matthew uh Matthew chapter 22 verses 34 to 40. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind, and this is the first and greatest commandment. You know, this is the first and greatest commandment is to love. All right. So as I'm editing, I realized that I made a little tiny mistake, just a little tiny one, not too big. All right now. But basically, the Bible is telling us that the greatest commandment is number one, to love our God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy soul. That is the first and greatest commandment. The second commandment is to love your neighbor as you love thyself, which is also found in Matthew. So, yeah, my bad about that. But anyways, back to the video. It is to love. Okay, the Bible also tells us to love thy neighbor as you love thyself. This is one of the greatest commandments of all, is to love each other. How can you be how can you be a follower of Christ? How can you believe in Jesus Christ? So how can you believe in God but you don't love the person next to you? This is how I look at this these situation. You say, "Oh, nobody's supposed to love a child molester." But this is the problem with society is that we don't look at everybody's story. Do you not think that sometimes maybe the child molester who's molesting child, yes, it is 100% wrong. But let's look at his or her uh childhood. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's because she was molested or he was molested. So now he feel or he or she feels as if other people need to feel their pain. Other kids need to feel their pain because nobody acknowledged her pain or her or his pain. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can't say that, oh, I don't love, I don't love a thief when I don't know why this person is stealing. I can't say that, oh, I don't love a, a child molester when I don't know why this person is molesting children. Is it disgusting? It's disgusting. Should they be punished? Yes, they should be punished. But does that take away the love that I have for them? No, because let's say your son, was a child molester. Would that mean that you would hate your son? No, you're not going to hate your son, but you may not like your son in the moment, but you will always have love for your son regardless. I don't have, sometimes I don't like a person, but that doesn't mean I don't love that person. I may not like them in that moment because of the actions they did, but I will always love them. I will love everybody. I may not like the actions that Hitler took, but I will always love Hitler because again, if somebody, if God was to replay my entire life and the things that I've done to other people, I would be hurt if people tell me that I don't love you no more because look at the life that you live. Look at what the stuff, look at the stuff that you did. If God was to play back everything that I have done from when I was born all the way into now in my twenties, I would be ashamed. I will literally be ashamed because I done did some messed up stuff, but get, but yet my mother still loved me yet. God still loves me. Most importantly, God still loves me. My mother didn't love me. Okay, cool. But at least I know that I have a father in heaven who still loves me, regardless of my sins, regardless of my mistakes. God, look, God is a loving God. Although you may read some in the Bible where God destroys cities, towns, and things because of their sins. But this is the this is how God is so gracious and loving. Before he destroyed any town or city or how, whatever you want to say, he always he always brought prophets among those people to warn them what's to come to warn them. They don't return. If they don't turn from their sins and repent, this is what's going to happen. But, but yet they neglected the warnings. They neglected the signs. They said, no prophets, you're lying. This and that God wouldn't do this. And and then by them, by them continuing to live in their wicked ways, 
That's when God's anger came upon them. Same thing with us. If we continue to live in wicked sin, yes, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. But it's get to a point where it's if we continue to take God's grace for granted, we're going to eventually witness his wrath upon us. We're going to witness his wrath upon us. You know what I'm saying? And then you say that uh, you don't eat pork. Okay, cool. If you don't eat pork, that's perfectly fine. But don't tell somebody that the Bible say, "Oh, this is one of the this is one of the laws that you shouldn't eat pork because Jesus came to fulfill the Old Testament laws. He came to fulfill the Old Testament laws. Everything, anything you read in the Old Testament, it points to Jesus. It literally points to Jesus. It may not say. This is going to be the Messiah, Jesus Christ. But no, it is a Messiah who's going to come, who's going to be the sacrifice to pay for all the wages of sin. It's going to be a God who the um who who put who sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sin. Everything in Old Testament points back to Jesus. So the reason why I mentioned the pork is because Jesus came and he said, What goes in your mouth don't defile you. It's what comes out of your mouth. That defiles you because what comes out of your mouth means that's coming from the heart. Jesus came to look at the heart. He came to, he got into the heart, the heart of the law. He came to get into the heart of the law. We were so focused on our outer actions that we wasn't looking at our heart. Our outer actions don't mean nothing to God. It's what comes from the heart. So God is looking at the heart. He's not looking and what's he's not looking at what's coming, what's, what you're putting inside, like what you what food you're eating and all this and that. He's not looking at, oh, did you wash your hands before you eating? No, because none of that defiles you. It's what comes out of your mouth that defiles you. So don't don't go around telling people that number one, Jesus Christ only died for certain people. No, he did not. He didn't just die for no Israelites. He didn't just die for no, he did not die for them. Not just them. He died for everybody. He got on that cross and died for everybody. How petty would that be if he just died for a certain group of people? That would be so petty. If that was the case, I wouldn't be living why I wouldn't be living the way I'm living right now. I will continue to live in sin because sin is fun. I'm not gonna sin is fun. But God has took me away from that lifestyle so I can live for him, so I can give him the glory. I'm not living in the fun, the the, the sinful things of my flesh, because the flesh loves to do things that's enjoyable to the flesh. It don't never want to do nothing that's enjoyable to the spirit, like reading your Bible. That's not enjoyable to the flesh. That's boring. That's whack. But when you go to the club and you drinking, you popping bottles, you smoking, you doing all these different things, that's fun to the flesh. But Jesus Christ came to die for my sins, your sins, they sins, they sins, them sins. He came to die for everybody's sins. Nobody is excluded from the way that, from the, from the, uh, from what Jesus Christ did on that cross. Nobody is excluded from that. God loves all people. So for you to say you only love certain white people, well, that shows your heart. You just witness that. You just say you have hatred on your heart. God is not hate. God is love. God is gracious. God is merciful. Same way we need to be. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below because I can go on and on and on about this topic. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Him saying that he don't love all white people. Him saying that God is not, God doesn't love all people. Some people are really lost. Some people are honestly lost. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy Depend. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.